What's going on? I'm Larry Uber Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy El Hitter, Mr. All Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy MXL Guapo, man. Street Certified News. And we back with another one, man. First off, man, wanna, you know what I'm saying? Wanna let y'all know, man. Really appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. Y'all been running the channel up. Um, as a result, you know what I'm saying? We we done got some calls and some and some emails from, you know what I'm saying, some pretty high up people. Um, it seems that our, our story that we did on Leroy Patterson, man, the Rat King, it hit just a little bit too close to home. And, you know, somebody, a third party was able to get that video took down. Um, it didn't hit us like with no strikes or nothing, I don't believe. Like, I'm, I'm still looking. I don't see no strikes. I don't see no warnings. But, you know what I'm saying? Somebody was able to get that joint took down. Uh, and YouTube say, hey, man, keep going. You ain't in trouble, man. But you can't have that shit on the platform. So, just let y'all know, man. This is the type of news and the type of stories that we covering. It's the shit that's real, man. And sometimes this shit get a little too real. And I guess in the case of Leroy Patterson, you know what I'm saying? What we laid out against him hit a little bit too close to home for some people in power. And, you know, they, they knocked that joint down. Either way, man, um, just on August, was this August 4th, I believe, uh, 2023, you know what I'm saying? The feds released the official full proffer for the dude, Charles Liggins. Uh, aka c murder it laid out a lot of things that you know a lot of rumors and answered a lot of questions in regards to the fbg doug murder case because you know that case is part of the oblock oblock five uh rico indictment um so by releasing this dude charles liggins paperwork man the proffer laid out a lot of things and we actually got a lot of developments that we weren't expecting you know what i'm saying we knew about the street cameras we knew how they was able to get you know what i'm saying the gas for the murder but we didn't quite know what was up with this rico case man was this something that they was just doing off of social media like you know what i'm saying did they re have real information or not and come to find out man four people man not one not two not three but four people man cooperated with the investigation and you know what i'm saying we just had to do our deep dive man so in this video we really gonna focus on cooperator one you know what i'm saying but i want y'all to stay tuned man if you're not already smack that subscribe man let's run it up man let's get this video i don't know 500 likes let's get it to 500 likes man and then we gonna drop two three and four you know what I'm saying? At least one video for each of the cooperators, man. We're going to try to break down who each one is. You know what I'm saying? If we could get any information like that's not already out. And we're just going to compile it all. Hopefully, this video don't hit too close to home. I don't think so, man. I think these guys kind of got them wrapped up. And that's why this paperwork leaked in the first place. Usually, the feds, man, if they ain't got it tight, they going to keep it tight. You know what I'm saying? And once they got you locked in, shit, everybody can know everything. It don't even matter at this point. So, man, today, man, we're going to get into Cooperator 1 on the Charles Liggins Proffer, a.k.a. the O Block 5 FBG murder, uh, or FBG Doug murder case. Uh, we're going to get into Cooperator 1, who that guy could be. Uh, we think we know, and we even reached out to him, man. We're going to let y'all know about that later, man. Let's get right into the story. On August 4th, 2023, the full proffer of Charles Liggins versus the United States of America was unsealed. In the indictment, Liggins was charged with murder, conspiracy, and racketeering as a part of a larger government takedown of the O Block Street Gang, a faction of the Black Disciples Organization in Chicago. With the releasing of the proffer, questions concerning the death of rising star FBG Duck were somewhat answered. And even more alarmingly, the feds show how they believe they would prove racketeering arguably the most serious of the charges against the gang. Although the FBI could prove certain members of the O Block gang committed the murder of FBG Duck with the help of an associate who dropped the rapper's location while shopping, the FBI needed help to prove the conspiracy and racketeering outside of the leadership of King Von. About a year ago, man, we dropped the, uh, we dropped the video on, you know, the feds believing that King Von had put up the bounty, the $100,000 bounty on FBG Duck. 
and you know what I'm saying of course all of that stuff came out to be true you know what I'm saying we had real information when we dropped the video King Von you know the feds basically if he was alive he would probably be in this case um he was considered the leader of O Block at the time a uh, FBG duck was murdered um the FBI believes that he put up the hundred thousand dollar bounty and to be honest if if King Von was alive, a lot of these cooperators probably wouldn't even have been as necessary. Um, it seems that when King Von died, it kind of put a, a halt to the investigation because now who's the leader? Like, who are you gonna, you know, prosecute as the leader of this gang? And because of that, man, the FBI kind of, even though they had the murder, man, they kind of chilled out and waited and let shit play out so that they could kind of show that even though King Von was dead, it was like a continuation of the game. It wasn't just King Von friends doing some shit for money, but it was just that King Von was the leader, so he called the shots, and now that he gone, there's a new leader, and there's a new guy calling the shots, and that's really what they used the cooperators to, to prove, which was like, hey, man, this shit been going on, it went on then, and it's keep going on, and that's how the feds was able to hit him with that Rico. After having the evidence to prove murder, the feds did not immediately make arrests. While continuing to build their case after the death of O Block leader King Von, they instead allowed the group to continue to do business and used informants to collect information of the operations of the gang, including new leadership and how the gang made money. In the proffer, four men were laid out as informants, cooperating with the investigation to tighten the legal loop for a federal RICO case. And after doing research and speaking with a number of individuals close to the case, a name was originally from Newtown. Wiley is known on YouTube for his first-hand accounts of drill news and knowledge of both sides of the PDGD gang war to have relationships with FBG and Oblock even living in O-Block from around 2006 to 2010. After moving out of O-Block, Wiley maintained close connections with the neighborhood, however, and in 2014, after being jailed on domestic battle to the feds making the RICO case. In the proffer, the FBI states cooperator one, a black disciple initiated through the Newtown faction, but lived in Parkway Gardens from approximately 2006 or 2007 to 2011. If Cooperator 1 is called to testify at trial, the government expects that he will testify that while he lived in Parkway Gardens, O Block members called Wake City at the time will hold meetings and collect dues of $20 during them. The FBI also claimed that Cooperator 1 and Cooperator 2 would testify at trial, that once King Von was killed, O Block member Marcus Smart, aka Muop, assumed leadership duties and collected up to $100 per week from members to create a bond fund for the gang's future arrests. Focusing, like I said, focusing this video on Cooperator One, um, you know what I'm saying? When the dude's name, uh, Martel Wiley, came up, Swiper Man, um, we had to reach out to the dude. Um, like I said, we always are transparent at Street Certified News, man. The most reputable source for urban media, man. And to be transparent in this case, you know what I'm saying? Trenches News is a YouTube channel that covers topics very similar to ours. And because of that, you know what I'm saying? In the past, we have communicated with bro and we have talked to bro about uh, different topics not associated with this case. Um, because of that, you know, past... Uh, relationship I guess um, when we reached out to him he actually hit me right back um, and I had about a 10 minute conversation with him uh, off the record uh, I didn't want to spoil the story because he was like he did actually want to talk and we was having a conversation but I didn't want to spoil the story so I asked him to basically give me the interview give me exclu exclusive interview um, and that I will put it basically at this part of the video um, he claims he has some other stuff going on. I think he's flying out. He may be doing like a no jumper interview soon, but um, I think he was flying out to LA. He has some other stuff going on. And even though he was willing to talk to me for basically 10, 15, 20 minutes off the record, when I asked him to do it on the record, he really wasn't trying to do it right now. He was saying, man, let's do it later. Let's do it later. Um, I don't know if that's because he's gonna talk about this on no jumper or because, you know, he don't doesn't want it to get out either way you know what i mean uh, I, we're not in the business of waiting on the story for the guy because then he'll have you waiting forever so 
what I will say is this during the 10 minute um, off the record conversation, uh, he did admit to knowing about what I was talking about. Um, Swiper claims that in 2014, uh, he was a sally with Kenny Mack and that Kenny Mack basically helped him out in a fight um, while in jail. Um, once they got home, he always kind of stayed in touch with Kenny Mack. And because Kenny Mack was from uh, 071 Dipset, he actually thought that Kenny Mack was more closer with FBG Duck sad than with O Block. Come to find out after the murder of FBG Duck, uh, he said he received a text from Kenny Mack, kind of like in surprise, like, oh my God, did you hear what happened? They killed Duck. That's kind of crazy. Um, and he also gave me some other, you know what I'm saying, stuff like I said, I, I really want to give my opportunity to do the interview. So we're actually probably going to just stop the story right here, man. I'm going to drop it just so that y'all know where we going with it. Um, so there might be a part two to the part one, but we are going to give bro a chance uh, uh, to say his part. If he don't do it, I'm dropping another video on bro and then we'll go to the other conspirators. But like I said, it's some other shit that was said that... Um, I'm going to hold on to, I'm going to let him say it. If he send me off or do whatever, then I'll come back and drop another one uh, on the Dude Trenches News, man. But as of right now, it's looking like Cooperator 1 is the Dude Trenches News. Um, like I said, man, he knows about the story. I talked to him already, and we just waiting for him to get back. Uh, it's your boy, MRX El Guapo, man. Street Certified News, the most reputable source for urban media, man. Smack that subscribe button, man. Smack that like button, man. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. We out.